Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is The Card King and today I'm going to bring you some of um, my favourite first person shooters. We're going to look at my game collection and I'm, I know I play a lot of Call of Duty on my channel but I thought I would show you some of the other games I play and maybe you guys will like them too. So with that being said let's move on to number one um, Call of Duty The Finest Hour. Um, I first played this on my dad's PlayStation 2 and this is what really got me into first-person shooters and the Call of Duty games. It's a really good game, and um, if you can find a copy, I recommend you pick it up and try it out. Next, I went on to play Call of Duty 2, um, the big red one. And again, I think this is um, a little bit better than the previous game. So, But that made me want to play Call of Duty 2 on the Xbox 360. And... I really couldn't believe the graphical upgrade for this game. Um, going from the PlayStation 2 to the Xbox 360 was such a shift that um, I just that I was hooked on gaming from then on. The next game I got um, around the time the, play, the the Xbox 360 came out was Perfect Dark. Um, I heard a lot of good things about this series, and my dad said that Perfect Dark was one of the best first-person shooters ever. So I decided to get it on the Xbox 360, and I couldn't believe um, how great this game actually is. Um, it even says on the cover, um, Perfect Dark Zero is easily the most graphically gorgeous first-person shooter game ever seen on a console. So yeah, uh, they wouldn't write that if it wasn't true. So this is by probably the best perfect art game in the series. So yeah, you should pick this up if you want to play some of the best games ever. The next game I bought was Call of Duty 3 and this was one of the first times I ever played an online game. And Obviously I was really good at it from day one and uh, yeah, you should, you should check out some of my videos if you want to be a pro. So yeah, one of my favorite games I put a lot of time into. The next game is Call of War is Bound and Blood. And there's actually a kind of funny story about how I got this. Um, my grandma asked what I wanted for my birthday and I said Call of Duty. But she got this by mistake. It's actually a pretty good game though. Um, it's kind of set in the West. And uh, yeah, you should try that out. Next, um, for Christmas, I one year I got Call of Duty World at War. And this was a really good Christmas present. And I played it all day, and um, yeah, it was pretty much just as good as a, as Call of Duty 3. Um, I, I was probably one of the best players ever to play this game. So yeah. Um, then I moved on to something more modern, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And yeah, I was one of the best players at it too. Uh, yeah. Um, something a little bit different, I decided to try out Resident Evil 5 when it came out and um, uh, this was the first time I ever played a survival horror game and I, I have to say I really liked it. Um, it was a good zombie game and uh, yeah I've never played any of the other Resident Evil games but I think this is the best because it's in HD and um, it's on the Xbox 360. You can also play co-op as well so I think that was the first Resident Evil you could actually do that. Um, yeah, in the back of the cover it says, Fear You Can't Forget. This really was one of the most scariest games I've ever played. Um, yeah, so just you should check this out if you want to play a really good survival horror um, zombie game. Um, most recently I picked up um, Call of Duty Black Ops. And um, I'm, I have, I've only started playing it, but I'm hopefully going to bring you guys some tutorials really soon on how to be... Um, a really good player at this so um, keep an eye on my channel guys it's uh, the Cod King thanks bros um, oh yeah um, I guess oh there's one other game I forgot to mention and um, it's this is one of the best first person shooter games ever made um, actually my dad told me about this series and the game is called uh, Goldeneye um, let me see if I can find yeah here it is yeah this is Goldeneye um, 007 um, on the Wii and this is yeah this is the best GoldenEye game ever made so yeah it actually says on the back of the box bringing multiplayer back to its roots so yeah 
Um, this is just like the old game. And he even says up here, um, Goldeneye is back. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, there was a really old Goldeneye game that wasn't very good. Um, I see my dad playing it once, but uh, this version came out and it's so much better. So yeah, if you guys want to play one of the best Goldeneye games ever, pick this up. Um, so that's about it for my game collection. Uh, thanks guys for watch. Oh no, actually, um, I think my dad has some games around here too. Um, let me see if I can find uh, some of his games. Uh, I think it's in this genre here. Let's see. Oh yeah, so these are some of the crappy old games my dad has. <laughs> some of them are really old actually. And um, I don't even know how some of them work because... Um, they're not even on. Oh wait, there's Goldeneye. Yeah, that this is the one my dad plays, and um, it's kind of crappy actually. Look, look at the back of the box. It's, it's like the gun just kind of sits there. You can't even aim down the sights or anything. It's really basic, um, and it doesn't really compare to to this one. But maybe I should do like a comparison or something and like show why this is much the Wii version is a much better game. Um, but yeah. And uh, yeah, these are some of the crappy games my dad. He tries to get me to play them, but they're so old. <laughs> um, so, oh yeah, there's Resident Evil too. <laughs> uh, yeah. it's, I don't think it's, it's as good as Resident Evil 5. So yeah, um, thanks for watching guys. And um, uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll make some more videos on these old games uh, some other time. But yeah, um, just remember to um, rate this video five stars and don't forget to subscribe for the next video. And if you guys want to be a pro like me, then check out my other Call of Duty videos. And I'll show you how to be one of the best players in the game. That's it for me, bro. See you next time.